just outside the Marriott Long Wolf Hotel. It's five o'clock. My sister is going to be on the dinner cruise at six o'clock. My sister lives right down there, but I know that she's in her apartment right now. And actually, I just talked to her on the phone. She has no idea that I'm here. So we're going to take a water taxi, me and my niece and my nephew and my nephew's girlfriend, we're going to take a water taxi over to the boat that we're going on. We're going to be waiting for her when she boards. So I'm so excited. While I'm at it, let me show you. Isn't the, isn't the harbor beautiful? Boston is a really beautiful city. This is where um, I grew up in a city called Everett, which is maybe just 10 minutes from here. Um, you can look across the harbor actually and see Everett. The reliability moment would be this. You know, my sister is going to be caught off guard tonight. She has absolutely no idea. And this can happen with our equipment as well. Now, we can never have never failures because we live in the real world and not fantasy land. But, as responsible custodians, we can do what we can do to manage and to anticipate the failures that we can identify that are plausible in our operating context. And that's our job to do as responsible, responsible custodians. And guess what? That's what reliability system maintenance helps us with. More on that later. This guy here, he's rocking it out on the drums. See, that's what we need to do. We need to rock it out when it comes to reliability, just like this guy is, with as much passion and as much stick to itiveness as he's got. Right now, I gotta get to the boat so I can surprise my sister. See you soon. So now we're on the water taxi on the way to the boat that's going to take us out for the surprise party. Here's part of Boston Harbor. It looks like the sun is starting to come up, which is nice.
I show you my sister's reaction, there's something you need to know. We're sisters, but our relationship didn't start out that way, and that makes our love even more special. There is 17 years between my sister and me. This is my mother with my two brothers and my sister. I'm literally not in the picture yet. Remember Marie and PJ, my sister's children? They're technically my niece and nephew, but they were more like my brother and sister. We grew up together. So my sister was more like a mother figure to me for a very long time. But time marches on, and as it did, we became more like sisters. To say she's my best friend doesn't really explain it. It's more like she's my person, and I'm her person. She's there for me no matter what. And she knows just about everything there is to know about me. I know my secrets are safe with her, as hers are with me. Before this surprise, we hadn't seen each other in a year and a half. My heart was bubbling over with so much joy, I could hardly contain it. And that's why this moment means more to me than words could ever explain. Okay, she knows. The cat is out of the bag. I'm here. What do you think, sister? Did you have any idea that I was going to be here? I still don't believe it. It's such a surreal... No, I, I had no idea you would be here. So now, what was? what's the second part of the surprise? What are we doing this weekend? I've been dreaming about Cindy Fest since the last one. And all of us, we go to, the, we go to Cape Cod. And we start drinking um, Bloody Mary. <laughs> and like, I don't know, as soon as they open, 10 a.m. Uh -huh. And then we go and we walk to the beach bar. Is then that the beach, open? Then the beach. Then the beach. No, but the beach bar. And we drink there until sunset. <laughs> and then we all move. It's like a caravan of people. We all move someplace and we go eat dinner. I don't know where it is, who's cooking. And we're all together. And we talk about the same stories all, all, all over, over again. Because you better tell them what does Zitti mean in Italian. Zitti means auntie. And <clears throat> Ma, our mother, she was called Gomadia Zitti. <laughs> I started calling me Zitti. <laughs> It's true. She's 70 today. Look at her. You would never know it. Because you take good care of yourself, right? I do, and I, and I drink plenty of tea. Yes. <laughs> so everyone should take care of their machines as well as you take care of yourself, right? I've been proactive all my life. And so now I can still lift. And I still do 50 push-ups every other day. 25 at a time, though. Okay. What's that word you just used? Started with a P. Proactive. Proactive. Very and that, important to be proactive. Yes. Especially on our machines, our bodies and our machines. So, sister, and your body and your mind are connected. Yes. Eat right. 
healthy. Sister, was this, a, was this really a surprise? Did you know I was going to be here? I'm going to tell you, there's somebody at this table that's the biggest secret keeper. You're on video saying, did you know you didn't know I was going to be here? And now I'm whisking you away and we're going to go for a weekend for Zinti Fest. It's hot. And what are we going to do on Sunday at 2 o'clock? We're going to have a massage. We're having a massage. Wait a minute, not just a massage. A what? An hour and a half. <laughs> An hour and a half. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. I love I'm you so much. I love you, but I'm glad I had my, my hair done. Your hair done. So you didn't call it hook of hair. And I got the hook of hair with the humidity <laughs> on the water taxi and everything else. You are how many years older? How many years 18. older than I am? 18. It's true. Just think how good you're going to look. She's 18 years You've old and I am. I, you look better than I no, look. No, I got you no on the... I got know. you on the... <laughs> Don't tell him that! <laughs> Don't tell my secret. No, I won't. You want to say hello, Jill? I bought these tickets tonight to do something. Hello. <laughs> I did not have the camera going. Okay, what were we saying? You can, you can say stupid stuff, but don't say anything no, dumb. No dumb, just stupid. Yeah, just stupid. Okay. okay, so I'm here with Marie. Marie is my niece, my sister's daughter. Marie is one year older than I am. And we were out today um, walking around Boston. She was taking pictures. Marie is an attorney, but also an incredible photographer her photos make me but anyway while we were talking she was telling me about the useful life of a camera and it's measured in the number of times that you hit the shutter So what happens when you reach, so what is the useful life of the ca of the camera in the, in, with respect to the clicks? It, it varies, but it's typically a couple hundred thousand or more clicks before you can expect things to fail because it's just worn out, things are worn out. So what happens if you take pictures beyond the useful life of the camera? After a while, what will happen? Well, the, the camera doesn't spontaneously combust when it hits that number but things will start to break down there might be a reduction in the quality of the images and the, the reliability takes a nosedive you, you can't go anywhere with one camera you always have to have a backup because at any minute you could have a complete failure okay so you don't work so best case you don't get the quality you want but worst case you're in a shoot and it and, just fails yep no good so, exactly. the moral of this story with respect to reliability is that it's not a random failure. And the way to manage that is with something preventive. And that is, so how do you manage it, Marie? Do you, like, do you overhaul your camera or do you just buy a new one? Well, that's the choice of the, of the user, really. And it depends on money. It depends on time. It depends on availability. So you have to evaluate what your immediate needs are, and then go from there. And when it comes to a machine, a process like reliability-centered maintenance can help you make that decision. And one note I would like to make, we're not talking about an average life. We're talking about a useful life of your camera, right? As Correct. A, with respect to the number of clips.
respect to a camera, we would be talking about reliability. Should we get back to the potty with what you're holding in your other hand? All right, we'll get back to the potty. I love you, Marie. I love you. Take a video of you if you go into the game. Oh, no. Yeah.